Hey YouTube, it's Mike Peng Gangster, and today we're going to be talking about triple threat leaks. Now, of course, for me, the guy that I like to follow for leaks are Foot Sheriff. We're going to talk a little bit about the market too, because I know a lot of people are concerned about the market, uh, the way the market is crashing. There's a few factors that are involved, of course. One of them is going to be the fact that, for example, a lot of people are getting a little bit bored of the game, so people are basically leaving. There's also possibility because a lot of people are panicking because black friday black friday is one of those uh moments in fifa uh, or fc whatever that uh usually the market crashes and stuff like that but let, let's look at the the triple threat first let's look at the cards that are, are expected to come out so some of these are leaks some of these are predictions and stuff like that but most of them i would say from foot sheriff usually they're right so we do have some of the arrows that are coming out like for example guvu um, for people that are not understanding exactly what triple threat is, it's it's pretty much three players from the same league, same club, uh, basically two players from the same league, same club with a uh, hero that basically play with that club. Okay, so we have the leaked Guvo here as one of the um, heroes. We also have Morientes. Uh, what else do we have? We have Coit, if I'm saying his name correctly. We have actually Cole. Is that his first name? No. Uh, Ginola, this is going to be insane. This card is definitely going to be worth like four or five million coins at least, the way this market is. Uh, unfortunately, it's just crazy the way these cards are so overpriced compared to like what we're able to achieve and what we can't achieve. Wait, we have to be extremely lucky to pack one of these cards. Yaya Tori will be an, an insane card to get. So as you can see, there's a lot of these. Um... Oh, she's a good left back. Is set to come during triple track promo. What's crazy, there's a crazy SBC coming out also, okay? That I most likely will do because he is a fan favorite. Uh, you guys are gonna see him very, very soon. Uh, so we have Martinez here. Um, so this is an example of like, the way, it would, uh, the way it would look like, right? So you would have De Jong, Alex Patelas, and Marquez as a triple tread for Barcelona, right? For Real Madrid, it would be Cruz, Atina, I think Atana, Atina, her name is, and Morientes, right? Triple threat makes a lot of sense. Also, with the triangle season that we're having, you could see that the players that we get to pick are from the same, um, they're triple threat, right? They're same, same league, same club, three times, something like that, whatever. Anyways, there he is. Claude Giroud is coming as a flashback SBC. Now, this is one of the cards that every year when it gets like um a, a, or an sbc or a flashback a lot of people like doing them same thing for example like when people like when benzema gets it right so he's very very similar to that type of card right so this is going to be look it looks very, very good if if he actually gets like the stats that you're seeing right here this is going to be one of those cards that it's going to be most likely uh broken in the game why because a lot of people like uh, French strikers and a lot of people like big guys like Giroud is a pretty big guy and all that so give him these type of stats he's gonna he's gonna be extremely good plus a, a bit of love to Syria uh, that that's that's good also you know so hopefully this actually uh, does come out I do believe foot sharers uh, leaks are usually uh, pretty dead on but we're gonna see so when when to expect something like this I wouldn't be surprised if it's during the week uh, the weekend uh, I don't expect this to come out today I would be shocked if this comes out today if it comes out today I'll be I'll be very shocked if it comes out on a Thursday or on a Friday. Like I'll, I'll be very shocked. I, I would, I would assume this would be a type of card that will come out like on a Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. I could be wrong, but we'll see. But, but, but let's talk a little bit about the market. You can see already there's already a couple um, arrows that are being because they're being leaked. They're being panic sold here. So I, I don't know how much Janola was going for right before this pan, this uh, this leak. But let's just see real, real quick here. So yeah, he was like 2.4 and now he's at 2.3 something. So as you can see, people panicking. Anytime there's leaks, people panic, okay? So one of the big issues with this game, there's still some cards that do go up in price um, based on certain things. Like for example, like Modric, okay? Right now he's at 374. He's been uh, pretty much around 400,000 uh, pretty much since he got his upgrade, right? And we all know he's gonna get another one. He's gonna eventually become a 93, right? So. Is there still room for like investments in certain cards? Now look, I think a guy like Modric is not a bad investment because eventually he's gonna get that hype back and he'll go up to 400 plus. That's what I personally believe. Now, there's always a risk factor 
when you invest in these type of cards because you never know with promos that are coming out and how much more people are going to panic. Especially the fact that Black Friday is coming up. It is a bit of a scary moment to put your money on particular cards, especially when you're spending, like, let's say, 374000 on a particular card. The thing is that if Triple Threat comes out exactly the way Footshare is showing, guys like Modric could actually go up in value because people are going to want to have that perfect link with these cards, these new cards that are coming out, if the if we're getting the um, the Tony Cruz and, and stuff like that from, from the Real Madrid, right? So there's possibilities of, like, the car getting more hype and the car going up in price, right? Plus the fact that he's a live live card and he, he should still get the upgrade 93 plus 93 plus 93 rated uh center mid frame right so there's those factors that come in play at your own risk i would recommend always sniping the car sniping the card for like at least five ten thousand coins less than what it's going on the market so you give yourself a bit more room of like uh just in case like there's a dip and then you could just like basically just sell off if you're scared or, you know, if, if the rise goes up ex as I expected it will because of the fact that, you know, like it's going to get that hype and most likely people are going to want to go back and buy uh, Modric. He's going to go back up to 400 plus. That's what I, I think. But again, it's at your own risk, right? For low cards, I would stay away. I would stay away from low cards, especially gold cards, unless you're trying to invest in, for example, like fodder. Now that uh, Claude Giroux is leaked, most likely I rate of fodder is going to be something that people are going to want to uh, basically have stocked up in their in their club, right? Now, I wouldn't be touching um, 83 as well, 1.9. If you could get in on some of these like right now before like the, um, the 1 p.m. continent comes out, I do believe they could definitely rise to 2,500 for sure. I would not be touching the 84s. I would not touch the 85s. 86s. If you could, of course, if you could snipe them for like around 11,000 coins, I do believe these could rise a little bit, maybe go to 13K or something, 13, 13 and a half. I don't see them going much higher than that, though. Uh, what else? What else? 87s. 87s at 17 and a half, I'd say. If you could get these like under 17, like for example, I do believe these are going to be needed. 87s for a guy like Shiru are going to be needed. Um, can these go all the way to 20,000 coins? There's a possibility. I would say this could be a hit or miss. But 87s, if you could snipe them for like in the 16 case, like 16 and a half or whatever, there's a good possibility that they go to like 19, 20 K, depending on what Giroud is going to be needed. But there's a possibility of seeing like a rise in 87s. 88s, they're very high. I feel like 20, 20, 26K on 88s. Usually, they're like when you want to buy them, they're around 23K, 24K max. I don't know, man. I'm not crazy about the 88s. I'm not crazy about the 89s too because 89s, I've never really seen them go much higher than like 41. So, they're already at 39. Yeah, I don't know about that. 90s. I mean, there could, be, there could be a rise with 90s because there's not many of them. But how much high? Like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, nineties. Could they go to 60K? There's a possibility there, but I, I don't know. It would be at your own risk if you would want to do that. 91s, of course, there's only Kevin DeBerna. Uh, that's fodder price. Is 68K a good price to go buy 91? I don't say it's extremely bad, but if like I rated cards are needed, you would be the only one you could purchase. And he's 68k can he go to 75 sure but it, it's again it's at your own risk i wouldn't really invest like the ones i would invest in for me the ones i look the most like i said i like the 86s but i would like to get them like sniping them at 11k and the 87s if you could snipe them for around 16k they look pretty good every other card i would not i would not recommend touching the 83s are looking good for today but they have to be a quick flip you're going to have to buy these like instantly now because the yes, they could go back up to 2500 but then you would have to dump dump them real, real quick because once once the hype is over it's just like the it just goes back down to like 1.9 easily so that's about it i mean the market crash a lot of people want to be liquid for sure during this time especially like we got a pretty good promo leak here um cards are going to get panic sold for sure because people are going to want to open packs and people are going to want to try these new some of these new cards but look at the links that they're they're getting their their the teams that they're getting look at some special cards from those teams like for example when i talked about modric 
look at some of those cards, for example, because if people get like hyped, uh, there's possibility of cards like that maybe going up in price just because they are perfect, link, not perfect links, but they're links, you know, for the same team and all that, and same league and all that. It, it could basically uh, hype them up a little bit and rise their prices a little bit. But I would recommend watching out or whatever you buy because anything that you buy right now would have to be quick flips. If not, like hanging around with cards would be a major mistake, especially the fact that Black Friday is pretty near, like a couple of weeks away. I would, I would, I would watch out. But then again, guys, enjoy yourself, have fun, play with cards you want to play with. Don't be afraid of like buying a card you want to purchase to play with, because as the year goes by, cards are just naturally going to drop, and you're going to basically lose coins. But are you going to lose money? power um based on the coins you lost on the card reality not really because when a card drops especially like a big meta card like for example like Mbappe dropped okay he used to be 3 million nice 2.7 you're like oh shit i lost 300k but you also have to look at it like every other meta card that's very very big in the game also dropped so yes you lost 300k initially on for example on a Mbappe if you had bought him for 3 million but the thing is you have the same uh, buy power that you had initially when you bought them at 3 million because every other card took a dip so your buying powers are the same the only difference is your coin balance is lower right but the cards are going to drop so you have the same buying power if that makes any sense so not to worry about that i would recommend people to play with the teams they want to play uh try not to focus too much on the crash the crash is going to happen regardless if coins are very very important to you do not purchase anything and play with an untradeable team or if not purchase very very small cards you know like 100k maybe 200k cards so if you lose 50,000 coins off them you're not gonna like break the bank anyway that's that's my that's my recommendation hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys in the next one and by the way leave a comment let me know what you guys think about the triple threat promo if it looks if it's something that you guys are excited about so have a good day bye bye guys